Right. I mean, if you talk about social engineering, let's say you want to fake a website, Facebook website. In most of the cases, you will not code the website. You will just copy the Facebook's code and put it on in the HTML and just post it up somewhere, and that's the phishing. That doesn't. That copy paste is not coding. If you go from Stack Overflow, or now you have AI. AI will do that part of coding, which is required for uh, being a hacker. I'm nothing. It's almost nothing. Sometimes I will give you an example. You have a bank website. Bank websites you give uh, username and password from two or three attempts, and it's disabled. But if it is not a banking website, there is no limit usually. Rate limiting is not there, mm -hmm. which means you can brute force. That means you can give multiple guesses. If I know. Your name is ABC. I will give ABC at one two three. People keep passwords like capital letter followed by few letters one, two, three, at the rate, and then one two three or one two three four. That's the password most people keep, and we have to check the date of birth and other things. So we can create a list and give the password. Now you'll say it will take a long time, but we can create a program which will do this automation. So for this automation, we will use the script. But you should know what you have to do. You should know the attack. You you are the commander. You have to define the attack. Now to create that script, there is already script available in forums before AI. Now AI will write a script for you in Python, PowerShell, whatever. That's how you hack. I mean, this is a very basic one, but yeah. That's amazing, actually.